Hey everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Stacy. I am Stacy. This is a very squirmy mo. Today we're gonna do some more animal yoga. We are gonna do some moving and stretching and breathing to make our bodies and our brains feel good. Let's go on our mat to get started. So today we're gonna do some standing stretches to start. So the first one we're gonna do is a shoulder shrug. So we are going to breathe in and have our shoulders go up like this. When we breathe out, our shoulders are gonna go back down. A few more times in, out, in, out. Once more, in, out. Okay, now we're gonna bring our arms up and have your hands touch at the top. We kind of look like a banana, right? So we're gonna bring our banana over all the way to one side. Feel that great big stretch in your side body. Let's take a couple deep breaths here. In, out, in, out. Let's go right back up to the middle and bring your banana to the other side. Feel that great big stretch. See how far over you can go. Let's breathe in and out. In, out. Once more. In, out. Whew. All right, it's time for our yoga song and dance. Sing it with me. Reach up to the sun. It's so much fun. Hands down on the ground and move them around. Feet way back behind. Lift up your mind. Tails up in the air. Get them way up there. Jump your feet back in. It's time for moving, grooving yoga to begin. All right, do you remember what letter we left off with last time? It was the letter U for urchin. What comes after U? Hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. V, V for vulture. All right, this is a kind of bird that sits in trees looking for something to eat. So let's stand up and we're gonna be a vulture in a tree. So for tree pose, you're gonna have one leg strong and straight on the ground and your other leg is going to balance. So you can have your foot resting on your ankle like this. If you're feeling a little bit better about your balance, you can put it underneath your knee. If you have really good balance, you can put your foot above your knee, but you never want to put your foot on your knee because that would really hurt. Not good for your knee. All right, so we're in a tree. Now, we can even make a little vulture beak with our hands. Put them by your nose. All right, you're a vulture sitting in a tree looking for something to eat. We're waiting. We're watching. Ooh, I see something. Let's fly and get dinner. Fly, fly, fly. All right, let's do the other leg. So remember, your foot can go on your ankle, just below your knee, or above your knee. Okay, get your vulture beak. We're waiting for something to eat. Waiting, we're watching. Oh, I see dinner. Fly, fly vulture, go get your dinner. <laughs> nice job. All right, so that was V. What comes after B? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. All right, 
let's see what our W animal is. It's wa, wa, walrus. So this is a big animal that lives where it's very, very cold. Male walruses like this, they like to stick out their chest. And walruses, they look like they're in upward facing dog to me. So we're gonna get into a pose called upward facing dog, but we're gonna call it walrus pose, right? So to get there, we're gonna lie down on our bellies to start. You're gonna put your hands right underneath your shoulders, and then you're gonna lift everything up. Lift your chest up, lift your uh, hips off the ground, and puff up your chest as much as you can. So the only thing touching the ground right now are the backs of your feet and your hands. Oh, this is a really strong pose. Oh, walrus pose. That is a really nice stretch for your tummy muscles. Okay, let's move on. What comes after W? Hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. I don't know if anyone will have heard of this animal before. X is for Sholo. This is the Mexican hairless dog. Sholo is short for Let's see if I can pronounce it. Sholo eats quickly. Sholo eats quickly. So to get into our Sholo pose, we're gonna get into downward facing dog. This is a pose you probably know how to do already. So I'll meet you there. So our hands are gonna be at the front of our mat and our feet are at the very back. And we want to straighten our legs. Your feet don't have to um, lay flat on the ground. Maybe only your toes will reach the ground and that's okay. The most important thing is that you're in this nice V shape. So try to reach your chest to your legs. Feel that great big stretch. And since we're doggies, what do doggies do when they're really happy? They wave their tail. So let's shake our little puppy tail. We're so happy to be doing yoga today. Shake your puppy tails. Maybe to give a little bark. Ruff, ruff, ruff. That is our Sholo pose. Sholo is actually a word in Mayan, not in Spanish, which is why the X uh, makes a ch sound instead of the normal sound. <laughs> Okay, after X, hmm, let's see. We're at the very end of the alphabet now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Y is for yak. Now this is a great big animal that's a cousin of the cow that lives in parts of Asia that are very cold. You know what they do all day? They eat lots of grass. So for this one, we're gonna make our bodies really big and really wide, just like a yak. We're gonna take up lots of space, have our arms go out. We're gonna bend over to eat some grass. So you can have your arms go side, to side, eat some grass. Yummy, yummy. You don't need to do this too fast because yaks do not go very fast. But you do want to feel that nice big stretch in your legs as you're bending down as far as you can to eat some delicious grass. Nice job, yaks. All right, we are at the very last letter of the alphabet. Can you believe it already? Do you know what the last letter of the alphabet is? Let's sing the alphabet song one more time just to be sure. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 
Y and that's right, it's Z. Okay, this one's gonna be really fun. Z is for zebra. This is a pose that uh, requires a lot of moving. We're gonna get kind of wild and crazy for this, okay? So something zebras like to do is they like to kick up their back legs up in the air. We're gonna do some zebra kicks. So, if you wanna do it with me, we're gonna start in downward facing dog. Something I know you know how to do, because we just did it. All right, we're back in downward facing dog. But this time, we're gonna kick our legs up in the air like this. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> do as many kicks as you want. It's really fun. I'm going to do a few more. Kick. And you can even do a little whinny like zebras. Go, nay, nay, nay. One more. <laughs> nay. Oh, we made it through the entire alphabet. Can you believe it? Okay, so I don't know about you, but my body is moving really fast. My heart is moving really fast. So let's take some deep breaths together to slow things down. Okay. We are going to breathe in and have our arms go up like this. And when we breathe out, we're having our hands go to our hearts like this. A few more times in. Once more, in, out, and this is where we move our hands up to our forehead and we bow and say namaste. Thanks for playing yoga with me today.